And these guys were microscopic. Their eyes were closed, their ears were closed, and these poor little things, they were in really bad shape. They needed fluids. And they definitely needed to be on a warmy sock, so a heat warming sock throughout the night because they were just so small. And luckily I had brought home an incubator with me that regulates itself. We're just, we're moving too fast now. I mean, we were raising these babies from a week old at most. So they had to stay with us for a substantial amount of time. So it was just the boy and the girl that were with us for an extended period of time. And as they got bigger, as their fur started growing, they started transitioning onto a mash diet. When they are basically set around this bowl of mash and they can mash their faces into it and their little paws and, you know, they'll start getting aggressive with each other. Who gets the best bites? You know, they'll start snarling at each other and stomping their little feet. It's absolutely adorable. It is like a giant party. So you don't know if they ate the food or if they played with the food. They were by themselves just for a while, you know, they grew up together, they started eating on their own together. And then October 7th, our third baby joined them. Our two babies were extremely offended that we thought of adding a third baby. So that first night, our whole clinic stunk and it was just a back and forth spray war. After about that first 24 to 48 hours, it was like they'd been friends forever grew kind of at an astronomical rate. And we don't move them outside until they would be able to be outside with their fur coats fully warm, even when it's really cold outside. We had trees, we had miniature forts that had palm fronds and greens, and we even had a whole pool area that had leaf litter and just piles of debris, and that kind of started the whole transition to adulthood. Really incredibly, they picked up on everything so fast and they transitioned away from humans so quickly that we truly could not have kept them here any longer to teach them anything. A successful release doesn't come from just getting the animal out the door. It comes from making sure that animal can survive following leaving the clinic. Once they came out, it was amazing. They just knew exactly what they were supposed to do. They just started rooting through the grasses that were there and they started rooting through the palmettos that were there and they were finding food and munching away and honestly we stood there kind of in awe of these animals that we raised and are completely wild, which is amazing.